This is the first chapter of channelings of the Galactic Alliance and my first attempt at channelling the Arcturians. We introduce ourselves now to you through this channel, although we are already known to many of you. We have been in communication with humankind since your first inception. In this session, we have been asked to comment on our participation in the Galactic Alliance known to you as the Gjergfjernir. We are the Nyanyanyasliangdia, or you know us as the Arcturian Council, those attached to the star Arcturus. However, notice that we come through what you know as Arcturians come through in many different uh, stages of our energetic evolution. We have been able to intercede in the fourth dimensional development of other species for a very long time and have done so for different purposes. So, as the general has been asking us, what is then the difference between the uh, ninth dimensional Arcturian Council and the Arcturians, as he has been told, um, uh, participate in the project of the Galactic Alliance in uh, previous channels by other entities and also in um, channelings by different channelers. Uh, it can be difficult to keep up with the lines of communication down here in the straight and narrow space. We do understand we were once to also four dimensional beings. Our home was the planet on, on related to the star Arcturus or in our language in that time we still spoke, although you may notice from the strange sounds being produced by the vocal cords of this being we are coming through now that um, we did not have um, bass-like vocal um, or sonorous structures like uh, human beings. Uh, we more had a, a tendency to let us say um, we know this image seems sort of ridiculous to you, but uh, uh, waddle some of our neck-like uh, skin in order to produce uh, certain frequencies. But our system was much the same, that synesthetic attachment of uh, comprehension and deciphering of uh, symbols um, through tonal cues. So these are some of the uh, details about us. Uh, other details were, were when we were manifest in uh, what you know as physical space or fourth dimensional reality. Um, we had a sort of bluish hue uh, to us and uh, this hue was again very much related to the uh, basic expression of our energy.
energetic signature uh, which is um, uh, soft uh, and quiet but uh, strong and unyielding uh, we are attempting to communicate the nuances of our particular vibration through the channel although as you may know it is difficult because we rely on the basic human framework to come through to you in other entities what we will say is we enjoy the soft patterning of um, different sensory structures so you could relate to to um, your art forms of fine mosaics in music your tonal music um, such as you know it from your cembalos or your um, always uh, we will say some of the um, hum, uh, yeah some of the universes of harmony uh, related to the southeast asian cultures um, so if you think of um, for instance an uh, instrument uh, such as the japanese koto um, is quite um, it's quite conducive to feeling this type of soft aesthetic languor that was our joy when we still resided in fourth dimensional space so much as you we enjoyed uh, tinkering and creating we were artificers in that sense and that led us ultimately in our discovery into the creation of um, kinetic structures self growing structures we became built builders of genetic code you have not driven it uh, to that point yet in your technology but you are approaching it and it is easy for you to um, to sense what this might be like in the abstract although uh, at this present moment you are more invested in altering the genetic codes you are able to decipher from your natural environment more than you would be interested in building them uh, yourselves um, we would let you know that the combination of zinc and silicium will yield some interesting results um, when you start to experiment with the creation of higher order substances um, but we digress at this moment uh, we sense that the channel is very interested in getting to know the Arcturians as a race and uh, um, Mm, but we will leave this for another day and another uh, channel. Um, instead, we will dwell on our role in the Galactic uh, Alliance and tying these two things together, yes. Um, by becoming so engaged in growing different life forms, we also became um, very interested in uncovering or discovering and then um, exploring different realms where we could um, where we could undertake these projects and experiments so for instance uh, if you think of your planet mars you could have you would be able to with a slight improvement of your technology and of course you would have to learn how to uh, transport your um, things far more efficiently across distances um, but 
you could use that as a sort of uh, hibernation chamber for uh, different slow growing organisms that you wanted to um, experiment with observing developing um, unaffected by human progress and by the human ecosystem and the planet you come from in a different environment uh, and you could do this with your planet mars and you could of course um, 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 in your solar system, of course, there are also some of the, the moons of the, of the planets further from the sun, but, uh, but in general, um, it is not a good place for experimenting with growing life, so to speak. Uh, and you are already yourselves looking for planets uh, with different constituents because you intuitively sense uh, that this is your role as the carriers of the Arcturian project of um, developing material organisms, um, new orders of self-perceiving entities in physical space, which will arise and synthesize the lower dimensions with the higher dimensions such as you yourselves, along with the race, the Sasquatch, uh, fill the role of on your planet. But um, of course, other species fill this role in different parts of the infinite universe. Uh, and we are speaking here of the physical universe, the, pre um, the present universe you inhabit, which we also inhabit. Uh, even this universe in its dimensional confines as you experience them now is in its nature infinite and there will always be more to discover should you choose to go this route however at some point for reasons that are too complex to unfold either in time or space or your language here we um, did at some point decide to venture into other dimensions, uh, but to stay attached with um, with this project, we um, created a race, you know, as the Pleiadians, which were themselves uh, a physical uh, project, an offshoot of us, but very different from us, and from which we had lent uh, different codes. We had uncovered other places in the galaxy, although not as many as have been invested into the human uh, spirit, uh, body, mind complex. Um, Yes, then what we experienced uh, with the creation of the Pleiadians was um, that we were set free to go about pursuing other ventures which we had not been so heavily invested in. And as such, we, the Arcturians, also became invested in let us say the diplomatic skirmishes of um, of other species we then when we ascended from physical places uh, began to find our um, joy meaning um, and following uh, intentions uh, from we found our joy and meaning in the relational, uh, the harmonious uh, relationships of interspecies energies. And then when we came across places where the discord was very great, we then offered um, our help to undertake um, the composition of these uh, to undertake the composition of these energies into new harmonious uh, symphonic arrangements, you might say. 
Um, so, for instance, we came across, we have partaken in a great deal of experiments across the galaxy, as we still do. Remember, we are able to be present wherever and whenever we wish, having transcended the limits of ordinary time space. And in that sense, our role in the Galactic Ignite, you know, as the Gerkvietnir, um, which is a pronunciation we prefer, which is more straightforward uh, for us. We see this um, we see this as an opportunity to bring certain races together who have difficulty in understanding uh, the symphonic perspective of the time space, let us say. Um, so we we realize that for many belligerent uh, races such as um, to some extent the Lyrans and to an even higher extent uh, the ancient uh, reptilians who are a strange aggressive breed to, to our kind but, but we don't fear them, we just think like they should do something better with their time and so we encourage them to um, so we encourage them to instead uh, try to harmon try to harmonize with the, these energies in the cosmos, uh, and they were very intrigued by it also because they were able to observe uh, not only the force of the lyrans but also the mental insights which we had produced. Uh, in a sense, we very much view. Uh, you may remember. Um, you may remember the image of, uh, we believe it was uh, Kepler who had um, the image of the orbits of the heavens as, uh, let us say, singing spheres. So the solar system, what it was, in, and, and, and to him that was the cosmos, uh, was playing a type of symphony all arranged in very beautiful uh, roundabout tonalities and that's very much how we perceive um, what is going on in the Milky Way galaxy, this beautiful home that we so much enjoy uh, to be a part of. Uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful place, uh, a beautiful garden of ever-growing possibilities. And as such, we very much enjoy to participate in these projects with our, um, let us say, not, um, uh, we want to say cooling energy, but um, uh, yes, and we're producing like the sort of a very uh, archaic, uh, archaic Danish words in the, in the mind of the channel because it's, um, it's that sense of uh, refreshment, uh, being uh, reborn, the calming, uh, sweet um, uh, energies of the universe. We will not want to say effeminate because it has a, a strange and difficult uh, ring ring to it in your language, but but you might see us as a very um, uh, tempering influence on the galactic uh, at lines um, and this is a role we fill uh, much uh, also in, in many parts of the uh, federation throughout the galaxy uh, we are very um, willing peace brokers so to speak um, but to us, there was also a lesson in letting go of the physical reins and seeing how it would play out if we uh, sort of stood back and let uh, other races carry out this project. And so our influence on humankind has been uh, much one of inspiration and also one of oversight. We have also committed uh, or contributed uh, with a great deal of our genetic uh, knowledge but uh, we have let the Pleiadians take the main uh, reins on this along with the reptilians who have been invested in the development of um, Gaia as a place to unfold their genetic code for much, 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 much longer than any of the uh, other main animal species energies you relate to the galactic consciousnesses 
Um, the reptilian is a very old acquaintance of the planet Gaia, and uh, you may tend to uh, think of this as something negative, uh, but they have also participated in furthering her progress as an entity who is able to withstand great deals of change. Um, often planetary consciousnesses are consciousnesses from the higher realms. Uh, we will relate you to this, uh, the 10th dimensional uh, space. Uh, which is a very ecstatic, a very peaceful place. So planetary consciousnesses are, let us say, very restful, very stable energies, um, mm, who then learn by manifesting into time space on different timelines, uh, the capacity to withhold greater change. Uh, so you could, for instance, think of um, Mother Earth as um, one of your uh, eastern sages uh, carrying out austerities and trials on her own body to further um, allow for the growth of her ability to give life and sustain life through whatever uh, fluctuations may um, penetrate the multiverse. This is one of the joys and the planet, you must also know that the reptilians are a very balancing energy. Um, you can relate this to your trickster-like energy. Uh, it is important for processes to develop further and quicker and in more diverse directions to have an element of uh, chaos in them. And the element of chaos is simply the element of change, such as the element of order is simply the element of stability. Both are necessary for development. Realize that there is, of course, on a human perspective and on an uh, interspecies emotional perspective, there are uh, wanted and unwanted outcomes. Um, but there is no good or evil, so to speak, not from our perspective. Uh, our sublime good is observing the unfolding of existence, and what is sublimely bad to us is what um, clamps down or disturbs that process. But we do realize that any good game requires rules, and so were there no rules, there would be no game for us to play. So that is very much what we are doing. However, we do realize at this um, at this point that your planet is going through many, many, many shifts and the ones most sensib uh, sensitive down here of your fractal consciousness spirits incarnated in human bodies, uh, you are undergoing very great energetic changes which are hard to stand and that is why that we along with the other members of the Galactic Alliance are letting our uh, physical intervention and preventing these energies from running amok. Um, so what you may be observing right now at a personal energetic level but uh, what you also may be observing on the collective energetic uh, level is the, um, let's say, the energetic sniffles. It's, uh, it's the cleansing of negative uh, energies coming up to the surface. And this may, um, this has become such a quick process that these energies unfold themselves into physical space much faster. So you may not uh, simply be feeling unwell, but you may also realize that much of your reality seems to be breaking down in order for more light to shine in. We realize that um, this is a complex message in all its simplicity that you are loved and that you are forever both an, ex an expression of love and the expression that that love takes. Um, you are 
the subject of your own thoughts, so to speak, and those thoughts are objectively true in their creative capacity, although not necessarily in their commutative capacity. Then you may call upon us Yes, we will advise you to uh, to gently move um, throat, uh, move um, a small mass of your inhalation about in the depression uh, between your claviceps. Um, so at the bottom of your throat, where the energy of the throat chakra is often uh, described to be situated, is a place where the more you become sensitive of the stirrings within that, the more you are able to directly commune with the Arcturian energy. We leave you for this. We will say you a prayer and a blessing before you go. We were once born before we were creators. When we created, we then gave birth again. We will forever give birth to whatever is beautiful and loving and caring to ourselves and to whoever may feel our energies align with their beautiful hearts. May you rest peacefully in the knowledge of your sublime loving creatorship beautiful human being for now we are the actorian council council signing off goodbye